Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're ready for some sports. Happy business card Wednesday. Get your business card ready. There might be an opportunity out there for you. Stay sports smart. Salon, spin. Sports! Our first sport today is NBA. Let's talk about some NBA. Well, we're going to go to NBA draft a little bit. A couple of players have announced that they will be entering the draft. First one, Shabazz Muhammad. Everyone was expecting that one, but he officially announced it on Tuesday. And also, Vander Blue has announced his, uh, can or his entry into the draft, which is a little surprising. Most people thought he would wait until his senior year, but he did have a pretty good tournament. So I can see why he'd decide to go to the NBA draft this year. And Jamil Wilson, also from Marquette, is also considering entering the draft, who is a little bit bigger, so he has a little more upside than Vander Blue does because he has the body more of an NBA player than Vander Blue does at only 6'4". And Muhammad is going to be a lottery pick, so he'll be going in the top 10 of the NBA draft. Jamil Wilson and Vander Blue would probably be second rounders if they get drafted, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Let's go to actual NBA, Matt. There's only a game or two left for teams in the regular season. But there was uh, still a trade that happened, though. Yep, Tracy McGrady gets traded to the Spurs. This is big news, because the Spurs are top playoff contender. Yeah, they're second in the Western Conference. They'll easily make it to the second round, probably going to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. Do you think that he'll make an impact on the team? I think he will. I think in a very positive way, too. Yeah, he brings some leadership to the floor, too. I mean, they do have a lot of older players, but anytime you can add more leadership to the team, and even a, you know him with some scoring opportunities... That can always benefit the team. Mm. Shabazz, what a name. Well, let's move over to MLB, Matt. What's going on in the Major League of Baseball? Well, we got some scandals. Giovanni Gallardo arrested for drunk driving. It's those Milwaukee breweries, you know? Yeah, well, luckily he's in Wisconsin where you don't get arrested on your first DUI, so hopefully he'll be able to continue playing, depending on if he gets any suspension from his team or anything like that. Another little thing, a former brewer, Prince Fielder, Top five right now in batting average, home runs, and RBIs. So he's having a good season so far. He's batting 429, which is impressive. He's typically, I mean, it's only, you know, maybe, what, 12 games in the season, but he's typically around a 290 to 300 hitter. So to be hitting that well still is a pretty good sign for him. Hopefully he has another good season. And let's talk about the Braves. They're on their best start in franchise history. They're killing it. They're just absolutely killing it. Nine straight they've won. They are doing amazing. Mm -hmm. Your beloved Cubs, I mean, they haven't been doing so hot the last couple of seasons, but uh, Tom Ricketts had a little statement that uh, irked you a little bit. What did he say? Mm -hmm. He said that this year they are acquiring actual championship caliber players. As what, opposed to the other seasons when they weren't? What have they been doing the past hundred years? It's time for the quick, the pick, and the flicks. Matt, let's go. Pat Summerall, famously known as an announcer with John Madden for NFL games on CBS and Fox, died at 82 today. Danny Amendola of the Patriots says he'll donate $100 for every catch and $200 for every drop this upcoming season towards the Boston Marathon victims. Red Wings signed Jimmy Howard for another six years on a $31.8 million contract. X Games Brazil starts Thursday and will be aired on ESPN3. A lot of interesting events. It'll be uh, Summer X Games, so it'll have all of those sports like skateboarding, bikes, all that good stuff. We are bringing back the Burley Meter, and for those of you who don't remember the Burley Meter, here is the play by Mark Burley, opening Incredible. day. And we're going to compare it to the top play for Monday. Ben Revere of the Phillies makes an incredible diving catch at the warning track. Matt, on a scale of 1 to 10, with a 10 being the Burley play, what is the Ben Revere play? This is about a three for me. Really? That's that's surprising. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing a six and a half on the Burley meter. I think that was pretty impressive. He got off the ground pretty right. much full extension. I give him some credit. That's for that. generous. Although it only was one play, Burley cleared the head like almost. Four. All right, that's all we got for our show today. I hope you guys have a great business card Wednesday. We will see you on Friday for Cardigan Friday. And have a great day. Everything we talked about is in the description below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The best time to watch sports is all, is the, all time. the time. It's all the time.
What happens when you put a port in between a snake? You get a... 